Good morning, YouTube. Sam Spade back with another video. How are we doing this morning, guys? Uh, so I'm back with another Leonardo AI video. I'm gonna just jump right into this and create some artwork. So this is some of the stuff I was playing around with yesterday. Uh, when I left off, I was doing some uh, Marilyn Monroe kind of vector art. Uh, this actually, this stuff I did after after the video ended. Uh, but we can go to the previous generations. So yeah, I was working on some of this uh, throughout the day yesterday when the stream ended. And I believe I left off here. So I was working on some Audrey Hepburn stuff, and I switched it over to uh, Marilyn Monroe. Oops, the best direction. So I wish this window was a little bit bigger, and maybe Leonardo, you could fix this and you know, make this window a little bit bigger and just put the information down below. But for right now, it works. Because I'd like to be able to just cycle through these. Yeah, you know, pop them up. So I was getting some pretty good results, actually. This one's freaking awesome. All of these are pretty good. And I started adjusting the prompt, and it was started getting further away from this kind of look. Still don't know how some of these creators are able to get this with such good prompts here. So this is one I was working on yesterday. I just remixed this from another person's prompt. So if you find a piece of art, so you click on any of these, it'll bring up the prompt. And you can just go ahead and click remix. And it's gonna go ahead and copy over the prompt, the negative prompt, select your model, adjust some settings over here. Uh, I don't know if he had he had the step count. Yeah, I think it does adjust your step count there. So perhaps that's why he had the step count pumped all the way up to get this kind of detail. So now we'll go ahead and hit generate. Again, it's like Christmas morning. We never know what we're going to get. So, we get something cool. We get some deformed stuff. Yesterday, I got a uh, blow up doll of Marilyn Monroe. That was fun. Almost made me spit my coffee out. <clears throat> nice. Sweet stuff. So let's take a look at the prompt here. Splash art, we're just woman, roaring, roaring, roaring. Instagram style of colorful paint. Hyper detail, intricately detail. Let's go. And turn some two words. So it's got intricately detailed and intricate detail and uh, hyper detail. So it seems like it's the same prompt as says. So really, I think it's just picking up on this. Picking up little picks and chooses. Generate again. 
I'm just I'm still trying to figure out the algorithm here, like how it how it picks and chooses certain words, where it's picking up keywords, like which ones are is it focusing on? Because to me that doesn't look like an oil painting. Oil painting is in the prompt, so get that text. Cool. What do we get? Oh yeah. It's kind of superhero esque. Kind of badass. It's cool. I like the uh shading. That that part amazes me the most. Like if you've ever drawn like getting your light source and shading, and this can do it like 30 seconds with ease it's a perfect light source gets perfect shading absolutely incredible so i guess maybe it's picking up splash art style intricate intricate so let's take out intricate details since we already have intricate yep. and just hit generate. So I'm happy that the uh, YouTube channel is slowly growing. Uh, I've noticed I've had a lot of people in the live streams, which is cool. And by a lot, like 10, there's been like 10 people, but still 10 people is pretty awesome. Like, cause I was expecting not to have like hardly anybody in the stream, but to get 10 people, I was like, whoa, cool. People are really uh, checking this out to see what it's all about. So let's say you get one you like, you can just click here, do the creative upscale. They have this other one, uh, upscale image alternate. Use this to find a creative upscale in resulting. Creative upscale is resulting in lost detail. Just find creative upscale is resulting in lost detail. So let's just click upscale. Sorry, I was getting distracted. Because uh, I think they changed this a little. This is a wording. So if your upscale is resulting in loss of detail, which we have complained about, apparently use upscale alternate and it will try and do it again. So that one's good. Let's take out Epic Instagram. I don't really think that affects the image any. This is just that's someone's opinion. And why would the AI have an opinion? I absolutely love that. And that. That is cool. So, dare we try it? I'll try the horrible unzoom, which is still in beta. It needs to stay in beta because it's fuck friggin' horrible. It does not work. BT dubs. Nope. Oh, that's not the one. That's the one. There we go. So you can see our upscaled image. Here's the original. And that's what they're saying, like the loss of detail. You see how this image you can and I can tell mostly by the lines of the image. Watch this. 
it's completely different. It's the same, but different. It's a different all-around image, but it is stunningly beautiful. Like, excellent work, Leonardo. We'll go ahead and download that. And when you upscale, uh, from what I've found, and I'll have to test another image, but the one image I tested, it increased the size of the image 350% and re-rendered the image to give it more hyper detail, ultra detail, fantastical detail. There we go. I'm like, uh, getting a little sluggish this morning. CPU at yay. Let's go medium, please. CPU is cranking this morning. What else did I got open? It's my OBS. Okay. CPU is cooking this morning, fellas. I'm on a, a legacy Mac too, so this one's awesome. I really like this one. Might upscale that one later, but I like to save my upscale cookies. Because you only get so many post-processing tokens and this one's still working. Yesterday people were post-processing like crazy because the post-processing is just like it was like 20 minutes to post-process some stuff. So I don't know why this one, you know, we changed around the thing a little bit, but given yeah. So anyway, I was saying about the upscale. When you upscale, your original image is at these pixel dimensions, 640 by 832. And when you do an upscale, I believe whatever you your original one is here, it's going to increase it by 350%. I did a test, uh, just took them into Photoshop to see how large the upscaled image is compared to the smaller one, and it was a 350% increase. So, a little FYI for you. Sorry, I'm dragging a little today. I got up late. Got up late. Got a late start, everything. Just one of those days, you know. Splash art. <clears throat> roaring. Not sure what roaring adds to this art station. I don't understand. Uh, anime style of colorful tour. I don't know that 8K resolution does anything. Let's Take that out for now. Generate. This again, like this end prompt seems to be like the same. So I must it must be the same user, but like it was the same exact one, almost the same exact thing as the Maryland prompt. Which leads me to believe that it's picking and choosing what it wants to focus on. And generally, it's the first sentence. So, 8K, did 8K give us more resolution? Not really. If anything, I got more detail on this one than the previous. This one's a little fuzzy up here. But again, if you upscale this, it's gonna 
re-render it. I can give you a lot more detail on her face, especially. She's cool. I like that image. And spend the biscuit on that one. Oh, and I have had good results with the prompt magic. It does have a times two token cost, but it is it is worth it. So we'll check that on. Keep this here. I think I'll take out heavy strokes because I don't think that's really doing anything necessarily. Oil painting, but we'll hit prompt magic, see what happens. The prompt magic. It's one of those days, fellas. One of those days. We got a little bit of a late start, like I said, it's 9. 9.45, I think it started, so we'll go till about 10.45 and uh, see what kind of magic we can create today. Whoa. So I took off heavy strokes. Hit the magic prompt. And then we're greeted with this. We'll go ahead and Try it again. I don't know. Do you think the 8K resolution really helped? Because I took it off here. And it gave me this. Then I turned on the prompt magic, and it's just giving me like blurry faces. Blurry faces and nubs, apparently. So I've had some luck with the prompt magic, uh, but definitely not as much. It's cool. What did I say? It's a full body, but that one is cool. Again, I turn up prompt magic and we're getting less detail here. So those other ones seem to have a lot more detail. And just for our chagrins, take 8K resolution. Go back on the end here. Let's see what we come up with. I like her hair, it blends with the paint. Yeah, see 8K, oh that one's cool. I don't see 8K resolution really helping the prompt any. It's like she's walking on the wave. There's a wave cresting here. She's just walking down it. Very superhero. That'd be a cool superhero. Some like someone who just has like random paint splashes and volumetric paint come out of nowhere. So 8K resolution is okay, but I've had better luck with actually octane render. You generate octane render gives it that like kind of 3d ish like 3d kind of cool feel i do really like this image upscale it because why not that one's cool too some sort of paint sorceress Wow. And we 
We got a paint dancer. Paint ice ice skater, if you will. Yeah, definitely ice skating. Not as much detail as I was hoping. Got the prompt magic on, but let's turn the prompt magic off. Give her a go again. Because you see, as soon as I turned the prompt magic on, it started like zooming out. I don't know why that is. Like zoomed out. Yeah. It's so weird. Look, I mean, look at that. Compared to what we were just getting. So prompt magic is not giving us what we wanted. That one's cool. And we got kind of the uh, paint sorceress going on here. So I'm liking these a lot. Like a lot, a lot. CPU is uh, running at about 60%, which is odd because I've only got OBS open and, and Chrome. I know Chrome is a resource hog, but it shouldn't be cooking like that. Nice. These are both beautiful. So we'll see if we can't make a thumbnail to crank the size at about of this. Little uh, more booby going on here or something. See if we can't get lucky and make a thumbnail. If not, do. this would make a cool thumbnail. Or this one. But we can pick any one of these. The ups, which one did we upscale? Upscale one of these. Is it this one? Oh, was it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, so even the upscale, go ahead and download. So we got our wave, paint wave dancer. Uh, even the upscale didn't give us a whole lot of detail here. But I love that she's like walking on a wave of paint, which is kind of sweet. I like her outfit too. It's interesting superhero. Kind of outfit. Go ahead and save this. Save. Close that. Here we go. Paint sorceress. Here she is. That's her tongue, or what's going on there? Those are all right. Try again. See so yeah, how well it's generating. I like to just scroll through some of the past stuff. That one's cool. There she is. I love that. We're going to do that. There's our thumbnail for today. Or actually, 
I've been taking snips from today's today's Leonardo session and using it on uh, the next day's thumbnail. But it's a good option. I like it. So let's switch this up. Instead of a gorgeous woman, we will say Iron Man is actually two words. So we just changed Gorgeous Woman to Iron Man, and we'll see what it comes up with. I do really like this one, just like her bodice. Boom. Oh. There he is. All nine, all nine fingers. So all we changed was Gorgeous Woman to Iron Man, and we get two very different results. Still kind of got the paint splash going on. But you see, just change up literally two words, and we get completely different results. So Gorgeous Woman. Iron Man. And let's go ahead and pull, pull this back down to where number four, 640, 32. We'll hit generate again. Do a couple more Iron Mans. And then I might go back to some of these and try. Uh, deliberate. Yo. Kind of the hunchback from Iron Man. Yeah, so very different. Getting not as artistic, no swirling and all we changed was gorgeous woman to iron man um so nice thing is too if let's say you come back here you find one that you like you can either do image to image and see what comes up which we could do that we could post this yeah let's try that we'll do image to image on this one because i like the overall look of it right so i like the pose and the splash and everything. But instead, we'll do Iron Man and see what it comes up with. So image to image, instead of the woman, we should get Iron Man in this pose or potentially Iron Man, uh, Iron Woman. Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. So kind of Iron Woman or I don't know, what's a new show, Iron Heart? No. That's the one that's coming out. Yeah, so that's a perfect example to show you kind of what image to image does. So let's say you have an image you like, any image, or you can even upload one from your computer. It's gonna try and read that pose and then take your prompt and incorporate it image to image. So basically replicating this image just differently. So that's a very useful tool. We were kind of messing around with that yesterday with uh, one of the Maryland's that we found that we really liked. We could do this one, image to image, swap it, swap it, and then hit generate again. It's 
it's going to probably make a similar image to this. Well, not to this, but it's going to mash up Iron Man with the image we just uploaded. Yeah. So, so now you're kind of getting the mecha with the paint splashes, which is interesting. It's an interesting look. But it's keeping at its essence the image itself, but it's just re-rendering. So image to image, great tool to use. Um, we could even probably turn off negative prompt when we're doing this. And what happens if we just do image to image? We change this up. Yeah, let's just do that. Change this, we'll get rid of this. We'll just do a DeviantArt, Masterpiece, Paint Stripping, Splash Arts, uh, Octane Render. Get rid of Octane Render. So we'll do an image to image, keep a simple prompt, and see what it does. So very simple. So basically we're just taking this and adding, adding to that prompt, so to speak. Oh, okay. So it's kind of given us, I'm not sure why this one's got a big thing here. It's given us some cool stuff. It says splash art. I like that. So it took this one. Oh, I guess she did kind of have a little bit of metal stuff on there. Maybe not masterpiece. So oil paint, dripping. Let's get rid of dripping. We don't like dripping. I don't like that dripping off her face. Okay. So it looks like it's picking up on oil painting, which is cool. So you can see how, how useful and powerful this tool is because let's say you get close to a render that you like, but you want to give it a different style and just throw the image to image back in here and then give it another prompt. And we're getting strikingly you know, similar results to our original image. Let's take off oil painting. Just say, let's do it. I'm going to say, So as you can see, it picked up on the oil painting. So it gives it more of an oil painting look on this one. And then here, uh, not so much. Didn't pick up on the oil painting necessarily. Maybe a little bit. What did we get? Change this to so we're going to keep it very simple. See if it picks us up. I don't see why it wouldn't because it's the only thing there. But I've been trying to get it figured out like how to. 
finely tune your finely tuned models, like just really hone down into it, you know what I mean? Nice. So took all of the paint and turned it into crystal. Interesting. But it didn't really make the woman up. It just took that picture. Try this. Stained glass one word. Let's try the hyphenated word. Stained glass. So again, trying to hack hack the system a little bit here. Stained glass, maybe up here. Some more oil painting. Stained glass. Stained glass. <clears throat> Doesn't like the hyphenated word. And you can change your initial strength here to kind of more strongly weight your initial image. How closely it's going to keep it. Oh, there we go. It's kind of stained glassy. Took the whole thing and turned it into a stained glass. It's trying to. Our initial strength. Generate again. So again, like we just do this infinitely, really. Okay, so we pumped up our initial strength. Kind of make it more closely resemble our original image. And it picked up all the details in the breastplate here. Gave her a derpy lip. And that one's nice. And it's just trying to make it stained glass. Oh, so that's kind of the uh, image to image. I haven't messed around with image prompt. So it says upload an image. Show the image settings. The fixed C. Is that here? Oh, it is here. Hmm. Interesting. Is it all just random? Oops. So let's go back to the check out what we got today. What's on the trending page? Not much has changed, it looks like. This one's kind of cool. A ship in a bottle. Really, really cool actually. So, it was talking about the image seed. Uh, the image seed is right here. So, if you could just copy and paste this over into that image prompt. So 
let's try that. Let's take this image C and copy it. And let's, instead of, I was going to remix the prompt, but let's just see what happens. It's kind of a robot, man. Sorry. Brain fart. Getting a little slow this morning. <clears throat> CPU is still cooking. Not sure why. So, go image prompt. Use a fixed seed. We use the fixed seed. Start to spell right. Orgos. This woman. We used the fixed seed from that weird robot looking thing. Not sure if I should delete this image just yet, but I'm going to hit generate. It's using that fixed seed. I'm going to turn it back down since we're generating. Uh, we're using that fixed seed. I don't know what that's going to do exactly. <clears throat> And it's not doing anything because I think this is overruling that. Those are two very similar images. Same. Uh, <clears throat> so we're using the fixed seed. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm using the fixed seed. Just want to generate. Okay, so this should be interesting because I'm using that seed with just a simple prompt, gorgeous woman. And a lot of freedom here. Again, that didn't look anything like the cyborg person, but there you go, gorgeous woman, according to Leonardo. So it says deterministic number. Let's see. Yep. Don't know what that does. I'll turn this down because this stuff seems to be taking a little bit longer to render. So we generate again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Interesting. So I used a fixed seed, same prompt, hit generate again, it gave me the exact same result. Interesting. Interesting. So it's, yeah, that's food for thought. You use the fixed seed, it's going to give you that exact same deal. Huh. So by that rationale, If we take that same image, remix it, copy this again, copy. We will remix this. I'm going to copy over the prompt, the negative prompt, select the model, adjust all our settings, and we're using the same exact seed and hit generate. We should get that exact image. To get that exact image that it created on the trending page. And we did not. Similar. <clears throat> the 
now if we test it again, and perhaps he had the magic prompt on, we don't know. If we test it again, we're using the same fixed seed. So whatever mathematical yada yada, it should give us the exact same result, which is interesting. Yeah, so that's what the fixed seed does. If you have an image that you like, you find out the seed and get your prompt, you should be able to get the same exact image back, I believe. I'll have to test that with one of my own images because we don't know if he had magic prompt on. If he was using image to image, we don't know that. It's quite possible he was using image to image. But I'll turn on the prompt magic with the seed and see what it does. And again, I think I've noticed like some of the trending images on Leonardo. Um, these prompts definitely do not line up. I know that for a fact because I've tested a few of them and it gives you nowhere near um, the image that it's associated with with the prompt. So I don't know if there's something on the back end with their servers, something's misaligned or not connected. Whoa. Okay. I like it. Move the poster. It's kind of cyberpunk. Futuristic. Cybernetic. Let's try it. Cybernetic. Yeah, I see. Metallic. That's a word. How do you spell metallic? Two L's? Yeah, two L's. Bean. Green? Oh boy. Yeah, see, I don't know. Look at all of this. Jesus. You've mashed up like 12 different artists here. Good lord. Look at how many people he's jammed in here. Greg Butowski, Lois, Reynolds, people. Wow. And then oil painting, oil painting, oil painting, oil painting, heavy strokes, heavy strokes. I'm not sure that that's actually, because I don't see any heavy strokes and I don't see oil painting. Guys, it kind of looks like an oil painting, but good lord, why, why are you doing this? Oil painting, heavy strokes. That doesn't help the prompt. Intricate details, highly details, epic details, all of the details. Ooh, I'm gonna try that. Let's see. All of the details. We're, we're gonna break this thing yet. D and D cybernetic character. He doesn't really look cybernetic. He looks more like a Ronin, but that's okay. We don't know what he's hiding. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> well, we're almost at the top of the hour. So I know I made a resolution to uh, try and stream every day, and I'm going to try and stream every day. However, uh, you know, life is coming up at me. Uh, I'm about to have a baby. Me and my girlfriend are pregnant and we're about to have a child, our very first. Um, so it's going to be a little tricky. Huh. Interesting. So with the prompt magic and a fixed seed, getting similar Similar imagery, but different. However, I did change the prompt. Did change the prompt. Let's turn off the fixed seed because I don't know. Don't exactly know what the fixed seed does. 
but yeah, so we're having a baby, so I might be out a couple days, but if nothing else, I'll jump on to just kind of give you, give you guys an update of life and where I'm at. Uh, cause the struggle is real. You know what I mean? Like we all have things we got to do throughout the day and we just do our best and just need to show up and let God take over. You know what I mean? So we just suit up, show up and get out of the result business. That's kind of the look he's going for here. Um, not really too fond of this image size. So we will letterbox it. I mean, it's cool if that's the look you're going for. But I'm not. Isn't that the look I'm going for? And again, I know it defaults at uh, four images. I just find that two images gives me a good sample. I can cycle through two images really quickly and it renders quicker because you've only got two images to render versus four images to render. So again, personal preference. I also do tend to bump up my guidance scale a little bit and the step count, but we were messing around with the seed. Oh, what's this? Kind of like D-Y and T-Y Ruxy coming soon to a theater near you. Oh, here it is. Cyber Trick 66 or Hintron. Coming soon to a theater near you. They kind of look like twinsies. Twinsies. Got okay, bumped up the guidance scale. You know what? For sugar ends, let's hit tiling. And yeah, we'll leave it on RPG. RPG gives us kind of some cool cinematic kind of things. In a world. Where die and tie, Rook C. Dink with dink a do. I just, I don't, I don't know how the AI can understand English, but it can't print it. Like it understands the words that I'm entering into the prompt, but it can't spell to save its life. I can't even draw them correctly. I mean, this one's close. Cyber tricks it ticks. Or Hinnantron. Here we go. Nice. Loves it. That's creepy. It's weird, this guy is not as creepy to me as this thing is. This woman just floating here with a weird drill foot and drill bit thingy. Weird knife drilly thingy. Foot's all janked up. She looks creepy. He's just like mysterious to me. See him in a Doctor Strange movie. Which, have you guys seen that trash that is Doctor Strange 2? Wow. What a piece of garbage that was. Sorry. I'm a fan, too. Like, I was highly disappointed. Like, I saw the first one. I was like, this one, this one's going to rip. This one's going to be so good. Nah, dog. It was horrible. It was absolute trash. A travesty. 
As a matter of fact, I would go as far as to call it a travesty. And this is not a knock on any of the artists or any of the people that worked on that film. They put in a lot of hard work, obviously. It's just the story. The story was not there. The story was horrible from start to finish. Just hire better writers. Or get ChatGPT to do it, because for crying out loud, ChatGPT probably could have come up with a better synopsis than what they came out with. Nice. Cider trick. Kuntruk. Oh, hey. Watch out. Watch out. Country Nick. Again with the twinsies. So, I don't even know what what we're generating right now, but it's like a cool sci-fi kind of futuristic movie where we got these elemental dudes just just walking. It's kind of weird slug creature maybe. Chilling. Maybe they set it up some sort of battle. Lopped these little arm bees off. We don't know. They look like elemental like Elemental sages or wizards or something. I love it. There's, you can you can gleam so much of a story from good character design um, because you know is there battle damage? Is there scars? Are there amulets? Are there little de the little details that you don't pick up on right away? But the little details on a good character design tells a story in and of itself. Like, what are these things? What is this? Is that some sort of magic power? Or is it just part of his armor? Something to keep him alive? We don't know. What are these glowing things? Mysterious. So cool. So anyway, this has been Cider Tick Tick Country. And uh, this has been Leonardo AI. Uh, if you guys like this kind of content, uh, you know, give me a give me a comment in, in down below. Uh, like this page, please like this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. We'll create some more epic movie posters tomorrow, uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.